Hello everyone, myself Vikrant Chandan Shive. Today we are discussing about the introduction to chromosomes and Jain chromosomes. Before actually going to chromosomes, there are some terms which is to be known that is genome, a study of haploid set of chromosome in case of plants and bacteria, a study of half of haploid set of chromosome that is in case of bacteria. See, there are 46 chromosomes and the haploid set is 23 chromosomes. Okay, so uh, genomics, a structure and the functional study of total genome is called as the genomics. Genetics, a study of pattern of heredity and variation among the species. It is to be called as genetics. So see the ultrastructure of a chromosomes. The chromosomes and the chromatins are the same things. Chromatins, pure form of DNA and protein is called as chromatins. Mainly two types of chromatin present that is euchromatins and heterochromatins. Chromatin involves structure packaged and forms chromosomal DNA. Synthesis of chromatin takes place at the S phase of cell cycle. Because the DNA replications present DNA replication is mainly occurs in S phase. Histone proteins or the core histone, the main protein involves in organization of chromatin to chromosomes. Histone proteins are the H1, H2, B, H3 and H4. The H2A, H2, B, H3 and H4 are a part of solenoid structure and H1 histone play as a linker protein. So see, this is the structure of the chromosomes. That is the structure have the different parts. That is the outermost part is called as telomer region. This is the telomeres. Okay. This is the telomer region. Okay. A uh, ends of chromosome. It is to be called as telomeres. Apart from these, there is a chromatins, centromer, that is centrosomes, which containing centromal regions, that is cohesin proteins and kinetic cores, microtubules. Okay, so these are the two sister chromatins. These are the two sister chromatins. Okay. Next. Moving to our presentation. Structure of nucleosomes. So, nucleosomes is a structure unit of chromosomes. An octomer structure contains linked histone with 146 base pairs of DNA surrounded. That leads to form or make the supercoil structure and easily packaged within chromosomes. The 30 is 30 nanometer fibers. It is to be called solenoid structure. The zigzag arrangement of nucleosome fiber leads to organization of 30 nanometer structure called solenoid structure. So actually we are moving to actually chromosomal morphology. That is first centromers are sites for two sister chromatin attached and kinetochore Microtubules were attached during cell division. Centrosomes, a centromer containing regions or a body called centrosomes. Telomers, a sequence located at the end of chromosomes. Telomers length help in DNA replication process and loss of it during DNA replication process. Role of telomerase enzymes. A key enzymes add the nucleotide sequence when the telomer length decreases. It works like DNA dependent DNA polymerase and it self contain a short repeated sequence that is 5 prime TTA GGG 3 prime. Next, euchromatin, a free form of chromatin is called as euchromatin mostly contain genes are easily available for transcription process 
such a chromatin always recognized by basal transcription factors where heterochromatin a condensed forms of chromatin composed mainly repeated sequences like simple sequence repeats and micro satellite heterochromatins are two types constitutive heterochromatins such a chromatins contain some genes which is to be ex expressed in some conditions b facultative heterochromatins a true form of heterochromatins which does not contain any kinds of genes okay next introduction to gen chromosomes the gen chromosomes or the polyhedral chromosomes are the same things the name indicate it is very large chromosomes next there is no defined structure like chromosomes okay thank you these are the references